This video shows you how to perform the pre- and post-operation inspections in just a few minutes according to the standard chip sheet. Let's get started. Check driver's side of the cabin for any damage. Check under the cabin for any leakage. Check sidewall of the tire and tire tread for any damage or abnormal wear. Check air pressure and stability using an inspection hammer. Tap top of the nut in the tightening direction while placing your fingers on the bottom of the nut. Clear any objects that might fall when you raise the cabin. They might break the windshield or damage others. Also check the front of the cabin in case you hit anything. Raise the cabin. When the cabin is fully raised, make sure to securely lock the safety stopper to prevent the cabin from dropping. Check engine oil level. Pull the oil dipstick and wipe off the oil. Reinsert the oil dipstick fully and pull it out again. If the oil level is between maximum and minimum, it is normal. Check power steering fluid level in the reserve tank. If the level is between maximum and minimum, the level is normal. Check air cleaner for any damage. Check fan belt for any damage or looseness. Check parking brake function by pulling the parking brake lever. Make sure to place the gear shift lever in the neutral position. Test the horn sounds to give attention to the people around. And start the engine. Check foot brake function by stepping on the foot brake pedal. Step on the pedal all the way to the bottom. Step on it two to three times. Check clutch function by stepping on the clutch pedal. Step on it two to three times. Check backup alarm sound. Check the wiper function by switching between low, intermediate and high. Check headlight condition by switching on clearance lights, tail lights, license lights and headlights. Check turn signal condition by switching the turn signal switch, right turn and left turn. Check hazard light condition by turning the hazard switch on. Step on the clutch pedal and turn on the PTO switch. Check front side of the cabin for any damage.
check windshield, wipers and mirrors. Check left and right side turn signal lights. Check headlights. Check clearance lights. Check under the cabin for any leakage. Check passenger side of the cabin for any damage. Check radiator coolant level in the reserve tank. Check under the cabin for any leakage. Check side wall of the tyre for any damage. Check tyre tread for any damage or abnormal wear. Check air pressure and stability of the tyre using inspection hammer. Check wheel installation condition with an inspection hammer. Check compactor body for any damage. Check under the body for any leakage. Check differential oil leakage from rear axle housing. Check tire for damage, wear, air pressure, stability and rub nuts. Check hopper lock to make sure that it is locked properly. Check hydraulic cylinder, hoses and pipes for any damage or leakage. Check back of the compactor body for any damage. Check left and right side turn signal lights. Check tail and license plates lights. Check brake light to make sure that it works with an assistant. Check backup light to make sure that it works. Check hydraulic cylinder, hoses and pipes for damage or leakage. Check compactor loading function. Check compactor emergency stop switch function. Also check the other side. Check under the body for any leakage. Check filthy water tank. Check hydraulic cylinder, hoses and pipes for any damage or leakage. Check hopper lock to make sure that it is locked properly. Check left backside of the compactor body for any damage. Check tire for damage, wear, air pressure, stability and rub nuts.
Check left side of the compactor body for any damage. Check hydraulic pump and PTO shaft for any oil leakage or damage. Check battery terminals and cable for any looseness or damage. Check battery electrolyte level on the side of the battery. If the level is between upper and lower, the level is normal. Check hydraulic oil level in the oil tank. If the level is between maximum and minimum, the level is normal. Before driving, make sure to remove the chalk. Complete the check sheet. Start operation. After operation, make sure to clean up and tidy the cabin. Set up the chalk. Do not go under the raised tailgate. Complete the check sheet and report to mechanic or your manager. Well done.